Welcome back to 31 Days of Horror, 2017 edition. This month, of course, I've been talking about the Omen movies quite a bit. And, uh, you know, they're movies I really like. Damien, End of the World Coming, Son of Satan, Antichrist, all that stuff. Good movies. And coincidence of coincidences, there happens to be a brand new movie that's uh, directly on Netflix called Little Evil, which is pretty much uh, a movie, a, a comedy horror film uh, that takes uh, a large amount of inspiration from The Omen. Um, this was news to me, actually. Uh, you know, the movie dude, 0123, good friend of the channel, he, he brought it up in the comments, and I'm like, what's this? Uh, maybe I should check it out. And I did, and I watched the movie, and uh, uh, this is my review. <laughs> um, basically, uh, I, I'd be hesitant to say it's like, you know, a spoof. Um, of the omen because while it you know there's very similar plot elements to it um, it's not like say something you know how like you, you could say like scary movie is like a spoof of scream and I know you did last summer this you can't say it's quite a spoof um, but there's very similar elements such as you know a child being kind of raised through a cult to be the antichrist and the end of the world is coming and you know the father is figuring it out things like that uh, definitely more of a comedic approach in this movie. It's it's actually from the director of uh, Tucker and Dale vs. Evil, Eli Craig. So uh, that's that's definitely a good sign. And uh, it has very similar... I think it has a similar tone to its humor as, as Tucker and Dale vs. Evil. So uh, that I, I like. I mean, it's not like super slapstick kind of stuff. It feels, you know, like... Kind of like a straight comedy, if, if that makes any sense. It's not like over the top wacky like a spoof movie would be. Uh, it's a pretty much character based uh, type type of humor. Uh, in the lead role, we have Adam Scott, who, who's always great. I mean, I love uh, Parks and Recreation. Uh, that's that's a great show, and he he always uh, brings some serious comedic chops uh, to his performance. Like everybody remembers him playing the asshole Derek in uh, Step Brothers, um, and kind of how he's developed, at least, you know, how most people see them see him, uh, maybe with Parks and Recreation, some other uh, shows he, he's done. Actually, there's a, a brand new show, too, uh, called uh, Ghosted on Fox with, with Craig Robinson, and, and that's actually really good, too. Um, but basically, he's, he's kind of developed this persona of kind of like the, the nerdy, kind of well-meaning wuss kind of guy uh, and he's really good at doing it so i mean uh that's kind of how he approaches the role here and you look at this guy who's you know maybe not anything too special and you see that he's married this beautiful woman evangeline lily so how can this guy get with that girl there's got to be some kind of catch and indeed there is there is a catch uh, the catch is uh she she has a child his name is lucas and he soon finds out that this child is being tailored to be the Antichrist. Um, so, yeah, it was a pretty big fucking catch, I guess. Um, so, I mean, the movie's all about him figuring all this out. And really, I mean, it's in part that, but it is... I don't know, the movie is like this this love letter to step-parents, isn't it? Where, yeah, he's, he's uh, stuck, for lack of a better way to put it, raising a child that isn't biologically his, and can he really show this child his his love and, and that kind of stuff and it, it it's a there is a funny approach to it where like you'll have like support groups with, with other fathers um where they all describe how fucking horrible their kids are where you think geez every, every kid is pretty much the antichrist aren't they like some pretty horrible things like today kids are so fucking terrible you wouldn't really notice if, if one was the antichrist i don't know um but we have good uh, actors in those supporting roles, like Donald Vajon is is uh, in the role. And there's one actress, uh, her name is uh, Bridget Everett, who I'm not too familiar with, but she plays uh, the stepfather. She she prefers to be called stepfather. Uh, she's you know a, a lesbian parent uh, named Al, who's is very funny, almost like um, if I can like compare it to anything, she's kind of like. Uh, Melissa McCarthy in, in Bridesmaids. Kind of that kind of character, but not too over the top like that. Um, she was great. And, you know, it's it's all about un uncovering uh, this conspiracy with the cult. And the cult, and, you know, I I'll say there's some spoilers in this review. 
Uh, but the cult, as we learn, is headed by a priest, which really, I mean, you can kind of figure that out in the very first scene of the movie. Um, played by Clancy Brown, which is pretty cool. The great Clancy Brown. Been in a lot of great stuff uh, himself. You know, Pet Cemetery too. Um, isn't he Mr. Krabs on, on Spongebob? That's pretty cool. Uh, but he's great. He's always a pleasure to see. And, and he has a brief role, but it's... Uh, quite enjoyable and in fact everyone here uh, does a great job including Sally Field which apparently I you know looked up on IMDb apparently she's the director Eli Craig's mother which is interesting and that's another thing too like I, I was like watching this movie I'm like this this lady she's like a social worker in the movie she's with child protective services this lady looks familiar where have I seen her before oh it's fucking Sally Field wow um so anyway um the kid is good he's not annoying or anything like that in fact he barely says anything um, and they're, you know, really good parts where we see, like, the real satanic stuff kind of come through. And, like, his voice changes. And we hear, like, okay, you think of, like, the standard kind of problem with a kid in school calls the parent. Oh, you got to come down. Your kid's in trouble. It's like, oh, what did he do? Did he, did he stick gum under his seat? <laughs> well, he told the teacher to go to hell. And then the teacher freaked out and jumped out the window. He's now dead. So, yeah, so something like that. So it's kind of funny like that. So it's it's dry sense of humor. Uh, it feels like something maybe even like Edgar Wright would do, um, that kind of tone to it, where just say like something like, uh, well, with both Edgar Wright's uh, Shaun of the Dead and uh, with uh, Eli Craig's uh, Tucker and Dale vs. Evil, it, it, it spoofs a genre and spoofs uh, certain movies without really naming names. Um, even though this one does actually name names. Um, uh, so it just gives you a whole kind of a tone to its its spoof nature, if that makes any sense. So it, it takes heavy inspiration from the omen. They even say, oh, I guess you have to kill him, like, you know, like Gregory Peck did, some things like that. So uh, I enjoyed it. Um, as a fan of the omen movies, I, I mean, I definitely appreciated it uh, on that level. Um, as someone who, you know, I'm not, I, I don't, you know, have a stab kit or nothing like that. But I would imagine someone who does might find, you know, a good message in this movie. And I don't know, it's a good general message of about, about, you know, loving the kid even though he's not yours. Loving the kid even though he's the fucking son of the devil, apparently. And that's what parenthood is about, I guess, I suppose. It's about unconditional love. And, and that's kind of uh, what this uh, character, Gary, is his name, uh, who Adam Scott plays. That, that's his journey in the film, and, and it all kind of results in a pretty satisfying conclusion. Pretty funny along the way, too, so I enjoyed it. Not a rave review or anything like that. I wouldn't say, like, oh, everybody must see this immediately, but I'd say if you're a fan of uh, the Omen movies, you definitely gotta check it out, just for kind of curiosity's sake, right? Um, I myself enjoyed it on, on that level, and, and as, as a general comedy, delivered the laughs, good character interactions. Uh, and, you know, I had, had some good twists and turns, for what it's worth, so I would recommend it. Uh, it's, it's, it's probably on Netflix, so check it out. Um, anyway, that's the review for today. Thank you very much for watching. Be sure to comment, rate, subscribe, all that good stuff. Stay tuned for more 31 Days of Horror, and until next time, I'll see you later, and stay scared.